Hello, Silvana. Good evening. Good evening, Tisha. Okay, how are you today? It's Tuesday. Es martesito caliente. Está haciendo calor. Hello, Jenny. Bastante. Sí. Yes, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? The lady in... It's not red, but you are lady in green. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a dress. Yeah. <laughs> how, how was your day? How was your day? Perfect. Perfect. Wow. Oh, it's perfect. That's nice. That, that sounds good. Really good. Okay. <laughs> um, tell me, Jenny, how many students do you have? Um, like around, one, say a number, one, not a specific number, but. Yeah. ¿Cuántos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How many? Alrededor? Around? Yep. Around. Around. Yeah. 100. 100. 17. Uh -huh. 100. Wow. Yes. More or less. And because of the subject, you have your you have a lot of uh, hours for science, right? Para ciencias tiene bastantes horas, right? Yeah, five. Yeah, five every day. Yeah. So, um, are you having classes on? No, are you teaching classes on by Zoom or in at school or how? Two. Mm -hmm. Lados? Two, two hours. Ah, both, ambos, both. A boat. Estamos presencial. Yeah. Pero, tra pero transmitiendo en, en Zoom para los que están en casa. Wow. It's difficult. Demasiado. <laughs> es una locura. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I, I understand you. Te entiendo. Yeah. Totally, yeah. totally. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really crazy. <laughs> So, okay, so let's listen to Noam. Hello, Noam. How are you doing, my friend? Um, I'm good. And what about you? Very good. I feel like tired, but I took a shower, like okay. a very fast shower, and I think it helped me. Me ayudó bastante, uh, the shower. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you... You are talking with Jenny about the difficult life that's as a teacher. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're talking with, with, with Jenny. Maybe, maybe, maybe you and, and Jenny understand the environment that the, the school give. Uh, yep, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it, it is a wonderful job. I really like, I love it. A mí me gusta mucho. But sometimes it, it's hard, right, Jenny? I say difficult, but Jenny. Yeah, I, as, like, like all the jobs, como todos los trabajos. I think that uh, uh -huh. I, my, my, I have a, a, a nephew, mm -hmm. and my brother tried to teach, try to share the knowledge, but it's very stressful because it, yeah we don't have the methodology mm -hmm. to to share and i he he preferred that my that my cousin go to go to go to school he because to school yes yes uh -huh. sometimes it happens but personalized uh, teaching it is difficult mm -hmm. Les personalizada también es difícil no yeah. es que sea tan fácil <laughs> right jenny uh -huh. Sometimes it happens. And uh, the one advantage of having a lot of kids or, or students is that you, you, you can make different activities, right? Mm -hmm. And that helps because the interactions between students, it, it is like very funny sometimes and students get bored. Yeah, that happens. As we as adults, como nosotros, como los adultos, a veces necesitamos interacción. We have an interaction with the other people. Yes. Okay. And do yeah. you and do you feel and, and you feel frust 
stay frustrated. 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 Frustrated if if he doesn't learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you want that that kid or that student learn. That's your objective. And when it doesn't happen, it's like mm, you feel like you are not reaching your goal. No estás alcanzando el objetivo, right? So that happens, yeah. I think Jenny is a good teacher. I really like to, to have her like my teacher. I'm going to tell my teacher de algo, de canto, okay. So let's see. Um, hello, Jose, my friend. Where were you? ¿Dónde estabas? Hello, Did teacher. you get married? ¿Te casaste? No. I... Honeymoon? ¿Luna de miel? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm sick. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah, you told me, you told me. What, uh, what do you have? Flu? Uh, a headache. Have. Well, a headache. Ah, yeah. Headache. Uh, it's so, um, a little of... Mira como goza. Mira como goza. Uh, <laughs> sí, claro. <laughs> um, headache and a little of... How do you say? Dolor de estómago? Stomachache. Yeah. Stomachache. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. I think... I think stomachache or headache are the worst pains. Creo que son los peores dolores. But there are some others. For example, Silvana, as mom, I think she experienced different things. ¿Verdad, Silvana? Experimentaste otras cosas como mamá. I think, right? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. I think she couldn't sleep well. No podía, no podía dormir bien. No, de hecho, fíjese que la última semana sí me costó bastante dormir. Mm -hmm. I can imagine that, yes. But what was the part of your body uh, which had more pain? ¿Qué parte de tu cuerpo te dolía más? ¿Qué tenía más dolor? Back, espalda, neck, or... Quizá or... Las, las piernas, porque Legs. como mm -hmm. yo, yo soy pequeña y mm -hmm. mi, mi panza fue enorme, o sea, me veía pequeña. Entonces, de hecho... Estaba programada para parto normal y al final me hicieron cesárea. Wow, yes. And, and did you have that, that vaccine? Te pusieron la inyección en la, en la espalda. Dice que duele. Mm, okay. Horrible. You're, you're very brave. Qué valiente, Silvana. Yes. No, Jenny, es horrible. Jenny, va después. Ok, so. So, and, <laughs> no, no. Kidding, kidding. So, yes, I think. Yeah. Ah, you're pregnant. You're, you're waiting for a baby. Felicidades, congratulations. Okay, <laughs> so uh, that happens. I, I have seen that women in general, they have, they can, what? The levels of pain, they, they can have more levels of pain. Pueden tener más, más, más nivel de dolor. Yeah, lo soportan. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, so, um, well, I, I really appreciate and I am, um, Proud, y pues, en ese tiempo. Bueno, vale la pena. Bueno, no es que tanto valga la pena, pero tu bebé, es, I think it's a treasure, un tesoro para ti, right? Yeah, so, muy valiente Silvana. Y dice que ya está esperando el, el otro baby. Ya viene el otro baby. Yes, of course, why not? <laughs> okay, so. No, tiche, ni siquiera tengo un novio y me está metiendo otro, no. Todo es posible. Everything is possible, right? ¿Verdad, Jenny? Right? Okay. So, hello, Elenita. How are you? Hello. Okay. We're going to talk about prepositions of place. Vamos a hablar de las preposiciones de lugar y especialmente cómo dar indicaciones. How to give uh, directions and how to get to one specific point. Cómo llegar a un punto específico en la ciudad. But first, let's talk about weather. So, you tell me, what is the weather that you prefer? Sunny days, rainy, snowy, rainbow. Esto no es la bandera que ya saben cuál va. No, rainbow, es arcoíris. Okay, windy, cuando hay bastante viento. Windy, windy. Foggy um, es cuando hay bastante neblina. Here in Planet de Renderos, in, in La Puerta del Diablo, that happens a lot. It is foggy. Es, es como bien, hay neblina cuando baja bastante. Cloudy es cuando está nublado. It is different foggy because you have 
mm, yeah, neblina on the street, y baja, ¿verdad? El vapor. But cloudy is when there is no sun, cuando no hay sol. And stormy, stormy es cuando hay bastante tormenta. We have not experienced snowy. No hemos experimentado eso, lo, lo, lo de la nieve. Maybe in, in, in El Pital. I think in El Pital, yes. But, okay, le, tell me, Silvana, what's your favorite weather? Sunny, rainy, snowy, rainbow, windy, foggy, cloudy. Windy. Windy, yeah. Se, se seca rápido la ropa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Windy, yes, that, that, that's nice. What about you, Jenny? Windy too. Mm. Okay, Windy. Let's see, Naum. Uh, sunny. Sunny, okay. A sunny day. Okay. Nice, nice. Um, let's see, Jose. It so depends. And sunny when I go to the beach. Mm. And windy when it's the December. And rainy when it's my day off. It okay. depends. Or when you are with your, your, your couple, when you're with your couple, rainy days yeah, are very... Like, yeah, romantic. the rainy days to see Netflix. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, Netflix, okay. Sé que lo ven. Okay, good. Elena? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, foggy. Foggy, yes. I think, well, I think foggy is really fresh and cloudy. I, in my personal opinion, cloudy days are the best of the best. But there are some people that they think that they are uh, like, like low battery, como que están batería baja, como que, como que son un poco deprimidos. So there are some people that they like sunny days. Okay, so that happens. Foggy, stormy, wow. That happens. Okay, so which to say you mean that uh, we have all prayer, uh, me too, so am I, so do I. There's no problem with that. And we, the ways to say yo tampoco, I am not either or I don't either, neither am I, neither do I. So we don't have any problems. We don't have any difficulties with uh, these topics. So we have exercise now. Sara loves chocolate. You are going to answer as yourself. Van a contestar como, como si ustedes, pues. Eh, por ejemplo, Jenny, Jenny, like I said, Jenny is the person who is, who is speaking. So she says, Sara loves chocolate. A Sara le gusta el chocolate. Chocolate. No, chocolate. Chocolate. <clears throat> so, depends on you. Si es afirmativa, van a contestar like this. Cualquiera de estas. But if the, if the, the sentence is negative, you are going to answer with this. Okay? So, let's listen to first. Uh, it's going to be Naum. Okay. Uh, pick one from one to eight. Okay. Uh, number one. Sara. Sara loves chocolate. Loves, yeah. Uh, mm, let me see. Neither do I. Okay. Eh, dice que a Sara, le, la, a Sara le encantan los chocolates. Diría yo también o yo tampoco. O diría a mí No, también. yo tampoco. Ok. Neither do I. A mí, a, a mí. No, no, do I? no. Cuando veamos, cuando veamos el don't ah, yeah. o el isn't es negativa. Ahí vamos a utilizar ah, okay. el either o el neither. Ajá, aquí sería afirmativa. Ajá. So... So, uh, sería, teacher, I get confused. Ya te confundiste con, con tu vida. Yes, I know. Yeah, siempre. <laughs> okay, if it is, by, cuando te dicen algo positivo, por ejemplo, bien, le digo a, a Silvana, estoy feliz. Y si ella me quiere decir que, que también está feliz, yo también. Pero le digo, Silvana, tengo sueño. Yo también. Ajá. Pero si te dice, yo no tengo hambre, yo tampoco. 
Entonces, ah, okay. con, ajá, como a una negativa decimos tam, yo tampoco, porque no. Pero cuando es afirmativa decimos yo también. Así que las afirmativas vamos a utilizar estas, ¿ok? Ok. En este caso es afirmativa. Ah, es que el, el verbo se me, se me fue. Ajá, entonces. entonces sería, ajá, sería so do I. So do I, yeah, perfect, uh -huh. good. Okay. Now let's listen okay. to Jenny from two to eight. I don't play the piano. I don't either. Yeah, I don't either, perfect. Either. But do you play the piano, right? Jenny, no, or Carlos? No, no, no. Carlos is, is the one who plays the piano. No. Okay. Thank you. Um, Silvana, from three to eight. Number three. Mm -hmm. Catherine is Canadian. Is Canadian, yes. Oh, Canadian. So. Mm -hmm. Canadian. Me too. Yeah, me too. Excellent. Uh, Elena, from four to eight. Neither do I. Eh, eh, perdón, perdón. Uh -huh. eh, number four. Number four. Uh -huh. Jenny isn't in the party. Uh -huh. Yes. Neither do I. Ok. Como estamos, estamos utilizando el isn't, el verb be, sería neither. Um, am I. Yeah, yeah, neither, neither I, I, I. Yes, yeah. It's a bit tricky. Cuando veamos eh, el verb be, se, se contesta mm -hmm. con el verb be. Neither am I. Okay. Y cualquier ah, otro okay. verbo es el does. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Good. Yes, Thank yes. you. Thank you. Jose, your turn. I had to study this weekend. Uh -huh. So am I. <laughs> Vaya, como está el have y el study, aquí no va el verb be. Mm -hmm. okay. So do I. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So do I. Yeah, so do I. Okay, Bunny. Okay. You can say five, seven, or eight. Dan um, lives in Madrid. Dan lives. Yeah. Dan lives Dan in lives? Madrid. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, sería me too. Okay, me too. You can say that. Okay. So in this case, Naum, what about uh, number six? No, uh, number five. Lucy doesn't come early in the morning. Sería. It's a negative. Ah, uh, eh. Sí. O Lucy, supongamos. Yeah, Lucy. Sí. 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 Ok, tienes que decir yo tampoco. Uh -huh. o, sea, o sea que no, no se responde conforme a la, a la oración. No, no, se responde con respecto a esto. Ah, ok. Porque estás hablando de ti. ¿Ve? Aquí dice mi, 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 mi. O sea, eres tú el que contesta. Ni, ajá, ok, ni del lugar. Es que, teacher, yo, yo me confundo cuando, o sea, a la hora del verbo, o sea, como cuando, cuando se, eh, va el verbo to be, uh -huh. se ocupa eh, el am I, ¿verdad? Sí, neither am I o oh, so, so am I. Uh -huh. cuando, la, cuando la oración es positivo. Uh -huh. Pero cuando es negativo, cuando es negativo, o sea, ok, ok. Ahí es la, es, es la pequeña confusión que tengo, nada más. Ok, afirmativo es esto, todo esto. Me too. Ok. O so uh -huh. am I, o so do I. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Y cuando veamos okay. una oración negativa, puede ser cualquiera de estas. Pero depende. Si es verb be, utiliza Ajá, neither am I. Y si es cualquier otro verbo, neither do I. Ok. No. En ese caso sería neither do I. Ajá. Neither do I. Yes. Ok. Ok, José, can you help me with number eight? She doesn't have any She brothers. She doesn't or... have any brothers or sisters. Ok. Eh... Neither I am. Ok. Como aquí no estamos utilizando el verb be. Ajá. Neither do I. Neither do I. Yeah. I'm sorry. Ok. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Ok. What is the biggest risk you have taken? ¿Cuál es el riesgo más grande que han tenido aparte de estar en esta clase de inglés? Eh, 
Okay. But before, be, besides that, and además de eso, okay, tell me, maybe an investment on uh, what? Maybe an inversión, an investment, maybe travel, viajar, a debt, una deuda, or, uh, yeah, to, uh, to quit a job, renunciar a un trabajo, or to accept a job, okay, or to, yeah, there, there are different things. But before that, I'm going to check the attendance list. We are a list of assistance. And then I'm going to ask you the, these questions, okay? So, um, Angela is not here. Carlos, no. Me parece bien. Están y pasando un poco ahora. Okay, Elena, yes, right, Elena? Hi. Yes, good. Then we have Jenny, right? Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you. Jose Palacios. Yes, Jose, you are Hi, there. teacher. Thank you. Um, no, yes, you are there. Hi. Thank you. Uh, Bane? Yes. Present. Thank you. And Silvana, okay. So, um, uh, uh, let's see. Thank you, Silvana. Okay, let's see, maybe Jose, can you mention what is the biggest risk you have taken? Oh, well, um, when my thesis defense was coming, uh, I need to, how do you say, quit my job? Yeah, yeah, quit. Yeah, quit my job, quit my job, because I need to end my thesis. Ah, wow, yes, yeah. that happens, yes, yes, yes. So uh, that the, your job was stopping the the process yeah. of your thesis. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. It, it was a difficult situ yeah, a difficult decision, right? Yeah, it's a difficult decision because I need the money in mm -hmm. in this time, but uh, my career is so very important for me. Yeah. Because. Uh, Five years in the career, I don't, how do you say, no podía dejar tirado. Yeah, 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 you, 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 don't, you don't have to waste, you poder desperdiciarlo, yeah. or throw it to the garbage. Yes, sir. Throw the trash. Aunque trash es un género de rock, ¿verdad? Pero throw it to the trash, es tirarlo a la basura. Yes, okay. So at the end, you finish your, your, your thesis. Yeah, yeah, I finished my thesis. And no, it's okay. And this is two years ago. No. Oh, wow. Four years ago. <laughs> Four years ago. Yeah, 2017. Okay. The question is, do you regret? Te arrepientes? No, 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 no. Okay, no. This so, open other, other doors for Yeah, me. other opportunities. Other, yes. yes, other opportunities. And my actual job is, thank you for this decision. Okay, current. Okay. Uh, cuando decimos actual, se refiere a real. Ahora, aquí viene un punto que a mí me confundió mucho tiempo. Actually versus cuando decimos actually se refiere a realmente y cuando decimos currently significa actualmente. Uh -huh. Quiero que, que, que eso que les quede como que bien claro. Si gustan anótenlo. This is very, very tricky. Eso es como que bien tramposa de esas palabras. Actually, cuando ustedes dicen, ok, actually, I'm tired, y comienzan a explicar. Mm, realmente, aunque really significa realmente también, pero really es como de pregunta, really? O cuando también, cuando es como un, un adverbio, I'm really happy, estoy realmente feliz, pero actually es como, actually, cuando dan su opinión. But currently, currently es actualmente. Es como que digamos, 
se recuerdan de las palabras before y after. Ok, Elenita, ¿qué significa before y after? What is that? Before is antes, after is después. Yes, yes, pero todo el mundo piensa, ¿por qué after no significa antes si se parece más a antes? Right? Yeah, that happens, uh -huh. por la lógica. Pero así sucede. So, actually, eh, realmente, currently, actualmente. Yes? Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando quiere decir el trabajo actual, current job. Ok? Current relationship, eh, una relación actual. Current address, eh, una dirección actual. Ok, thank you, Samuel, for, for telling. Ok, so, thank you, José, and congratulations. Te felicito, José. Yeah, a good decision. I think it was the best. Nice. Okay. Uh, what about Elenita? You tell me. I think you have a lot of things to say. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Um, you need time. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't remember. But uh, the one I want to take is to up for a long for a house of my own. Okay, good. Loan, un préstamo. No. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. 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 Wow. And did you take it? ¿Lo tomaste? No, no. Um, how do you say futuro? A futuro? In the future. Yeah, in the future. Uh, the future uh, for me, uh, my house. So yeah. Mi casa propia. Ajá, yeah. futuro. My own house. Yes, yes, yes. Own. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry. Bueno, sí. o sea, ahorita sí, no, no me recuerdo de algún riesgo, pero sí, a futuro. But in the future, you are thinking, estás pensando, you're thinking yeah. about a loan in the future. Yes. At your own, own house. Yes. Okay, Elena, I think it is one of the best things that you can buy. Even it is expensive, aunque es caro, but it is good always to have your own house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ahí te vamos a visitar en Tenis Pumpkin Coffee. Good. Nice, <laughs> nice. Okay. Excellent, Elena. Perfect. What about Silvana? I think she, Silvana is, is thinking about a lot of the risk. ¿Cuánto riesgo? ¿Cuál le cuento a esta gente? Tu vía moda. Wow, <laughs> yes. I don't want to be a mother because I. I I want to prepare, I, I want to finish the career, and I want to uh, buy my own house, and uh, I want to uh, get married, but uh, <laughs> no it, is the, it, uh, it is in the process, maybe, or in the future, someday, algún día. Exactly. Okay, good, but it is a risk, But the, what about the results? I think you are really happy with your with your daughter, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But yes, it is, because uh, mm -hmm. I was a. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Me siento en paz. Yeah, I feel peace. I feel peace or in peace. Yeah. You feel in peace. Okay, that's nice. And how old are you, Silvana? Why can I ask that? Because you are a young mother, and to be a young mother, it has your, it has some advantages. Tiene ventajas ser una mamá joven también. Yeah. Más o menos. I want. Bueno, I, I am thirty years old. I think. It is one of the best ages, una de, de las mejores edades to be a mom. I think you are more mature. Eres más madura. Can you imagine if you were a mom 10 years ago? ¿Te imaginas ser una mamá 10 años antes? Ay, no. <laughs> no, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that happens, but good for you. Yeah, good for you. So, We're waiting for the next. Estamos esperando el otro. Okay. So, okay. Thank you. 
What about Jenny? Okay, Jenny, tell me. This was a negative risk. Okay, a negative one. Mm -hmm. Go into the sea without knowing how to swim. Wow. What what part? Which beach or which pool? Or or what, what, what place? In Los Cobanos. Okay, but Los Cobanos, the, the, the sea or the beach is, is uh, like calm, como algo calmada, right? No. Pero profunda. Ah, profunda. It is deep, es profunda. Wow. Uh, can you swim, Jenny? No. 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 So, um, this, is your, this is a risk. The, the, okay, this is the risk. Okay, um, were you, were you what? Were you sinking? Te estabas hundiendo? Yeah. Ya no, ya no tocaba nada. Yeah, the, 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 the sand, la, la, la arena. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Me and who was, ¿Ah? Sí, me rescataron. Who? ¿Quién te rescató? Uh, a, a handsome sí. man, a blonde man, very muscular. No. No. La, uh -huh. No, okay. Mm. Amigo. Un okay. amigo normal. Uh, mm, okay. So, well, um, are you afraid? ¿Tienes miedo? Are you afraid again? No. No. Okay. But it was really risky. It was very dangerous, Jenny. Si yo hubiera quedado la pobre Jenny, no la habíamos conocido. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that risk. And it is, uh, it was very dangerous. So, um, what about um, Vanessa? Your risk. Um, sería my risk. Uh, accept a new position uh, in accept. the company. Good, accept a new position in the company. How much yeah. time ago? Hace cuánto? This year, the last year, two years ago. Hace, hace como un año. Okay. <laughs> Three years ago. Mm -hmm. Hace un año o tres. No, hace un año, pero. One year ago. Mm -hmm. Solo un año hice <laughs> en esa okay. posición y me fui. Hey, you quit. Renunciaste. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that happens. There are some positions or there are some jobs that are not for us. Algunos que no son para nosotros. So we have to decide. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Anne. So you made a decision. Now, what about you, my friend? Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me, what is uh, the biggest risk? El riesgo más grande. Okay, and two years ago, two years ago and I lied on the interview. You lied. Tú mentiste. Huh? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. And... When I went and mira cómo se ríe, mira cómo goza, no. And and the problem was in the in the polygraph, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, I I regret about that because I lost the, a good job because and of that I lie. Went, you were not the, honest. I, no fuiste honest. Uh -huh. When I was when the interviewer. Recruit, right? And I, yeah. I told, I say the the lie, and when I when I pass the polygraph, I doesn't work my life. Wow! My, wow! And so I, they they realized, se dieron cuenta. They realized. Uh -huh. And be honest, I I I feel very bad because I I. They offer me a good salary. You know? Wow! Yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. That is that is a, feel... that is a shame. <laughs> it's como una pena. That's a shame. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I now I try to be honest with uh, and all time of my life. Yeah, and I, I think... recommend and I recommend you that don't don't do that because okay, yeah, because okay, I, it's very 
there are it's very hard. yeah yeah it, it is difficult to, to lose those opportunities there are some white lies son algunas mentiras piadosas i know i don't know uh, what do you think jenny about white lies las mentiras piadosas do you accept white lies or not ay que it's a difficult question Okay, so I, I, I will give you time. Let's listen to Naum. White lies, Naum. Teacher, but okay. Imagine you don't have you don't have money, don't you have you don't have work? Actually, I don't have money, but let's imagine that ah. I don't have any money. You okay. you show that you have a lot of money. Only look at your picture back to you. Yeah, come on, <laughs> come on. Uh, okay, imagine that you okay, uh invent that we are. Uh, we we don't have money and we need to, to work we need a job and and if if they ask you if you have a a car imagine and you say yes but you don't have car yeah and it's difficult because at that moment when you have to do the job or they need you yeah you're not going to be available mm -hmm. or, or or they ask you if you are still something yeah, yeah, but, but that is a uh -huh. big lie, es una mentira grande. Yes, teacher. but, but I, I can, I can, I can know if someone are, is still something, something, mm -hmm. you know, because when you, when I, when I was in, in the, in the kinder, mm -hmm. in prepa, yeah, I, kindergarten, I still, I still like, like, juego de Legos, you know, I think no, mother. era mano suave. Now no, was, um, mm -hmm. okay, but uh, but maybe all people like. Well, good. Okay, that that's your point. Yeah, maybe a lot of people like, and it is good not to 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 say big lies or very complicated lies. Okay, thank you. Now that's good. What about uh, Jenny and then Elena? White lies. Porque están las mentiras, lies. Pero están las white lights, que son como más relaxed. It's morally wrong. Okay, morally wrong, moralmente mal. Mm -hmm, but, but, okay, so you say morally wrong. Okay, Elena? Um, it's uh, a difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, uh, if it does not affect another person, mm -hmm. then if it doesn't, if doesn't be no lastima. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't hurt another person, no problem. Uh -huh. Okay, um, but, but, tranquilo now, say, tranquilo now, relax. How do you say mentira piadosa? Yeah, white lies. Estas son. White lies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Solo, so, solo estas digo yo, no digo los otros tipos de mentiras. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, ya viene con todo esto. No, muy bien activado. Okay, tell me, tell me. No, no, teacher, o sea, ahí tenemos al psicólogo José que nos puede ampliar del tema. Ah, por eso está riendo. Sí, okay, no, okay. <laughs> He's going to give us uh, his point of view. Yeah, it's very important. Okay, good. José is going to be one of the last. Silvana, white lies, yes or no? Depends. Depends on what? Depende de Depends on Depends the, the person, the situation, the reason, mm -hmm. and the uh, gravity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The level, mm -hmm. the level. Okay, good. I think you, you said a lot of things that are important. That depends of the read. Depends on the reason. Yeah, the situation, the level of life. Vanessa, white lies. No. Ajá, vale. ¿Qué pasó? Mentiras piadosas. Do you accept that or not? Yes. Yes. Okay. Siempre que me den algo. Yes. Okay. So Jose, tell us, tell us about white lies. What do you think? Well, 
Um, in Spanish, because. Okay, go ahead. Uh, or, para que todos, o sea, le logremos tener el, el hilo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, pues las mentiras piadosas no existen. No existen las mentiras piadosas. Okay. Porque, no, porque no mentiras, white lies. Lies no or hay, not lies. Exactamente. Pero, ¿cuál es, la, ¿cuál es la situación? Que muchas veces recurrimos a las mentiras para. Eh, proteger ciertos aspectos o para cuidar de ciertas personas uh -huh. o para conseguir ciertas cosas que en realidad son necesarias en el momento. Por ejemplo, si alguien miente eh, para obtener eh, un beneficio, pero que sea por, por ejemplo, no digas que nombre, no, familiar, Don't say the name. no, 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 por ejemplo, eh, tiene enfermo a, a, a algún familiar y esta enfermedad es de carácter terminal, pero necesita con urgencia conseguir Money. un tratamiento, ah, treatment, o, yeah. un tratamiento o, 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 el, o el dinero, pues puede recurrir a mentir en ciertos aspectos. ¿Pero por qué? Porque la situación lo ha orillado a esto. La situación lo ha llevado a que cometa eh, esta mentira ya agotando tal vez otros recursos u otras opciones que pudo haber eh, puesto en práctica verdad antes. Pero nice. al final siempre es una mentira. Ahora bien, es de ver qué tan recurrente es en las personas decir las mentiras y, y qué grado de eh, satisfacción personal o qué grado de... de de obtener algo a cambio lo están, están logrando, ¿verdad? Por esto. Wow, that... eh, porque mm -hmm. si, eh, si nosotros nos ponemos, bueno, en el lado de, de, del ejemplo que dio el compañero, eh, él dice que necesitaba el dinero. Y sí, o sea, eh, estamos en una situación igual ahora, post pandemia, que cómo puede ser de que muchas personas se han quedado sin trabajo y están recurriendo también a decir, yo sí puedo hacer esto, yo puedo hacer aquello, etc. Situaciones etcétera. extremas. Uh -huh. Exacto, por una situación extrema. Pero en cambio es decir, no, es que yo puedo hacer esto, y ya estando tal vez dentro del trabajo, no, es que sí puedo hacer esto, pero ¿en qué medida esto beneficia a empresa o hace que la empresa vaya para abajo? ¿O en qué medida...? beneficia a, a, a otras personas o en qué me, medida las perjudica. Entonces, es por eso en, el, en lo cual eh, no existen mentiras piadosas, sino que eso sencillamente solo son mentiras. Ok, mentiras, como la canción de, de Marito Rivera. Ok, so, José says that there is a, a, like a very tiny line, una línea muy delgada, between the different aspects, de los diferentes aspectos. Maybe there can be like extreme situations, y eso obliga o presiona a ciertos casos. But okay, so thank you, Jose. Now we have like vision. a clearer idea. Yep. It's a vicious circle. Ah, un círculo vicioso. Wow. Yep. I think that, uh, como lo que él mencionó, lo que tan recurrente es, y todo es gradual. ¿Verdad? Todos esos procesos son graduales, and that happens. Bien, algún día, bueno, creo que después vamos a tener ciertos, ciertos temas más interesantes con eso me pareció bien, bien genial. Después vamos, vamos a tener otro tipo de taller, mejor así. Y gratis. So, thank you, Jose, for your explanation. So, now let's go with prepositions. And because this is like one of the, the main topics that we're going to study. Uh, the prepositions of place are words that we use to... Uh, we use for uh, telling or referring where are the things or the objects. Donde están las cosas, donde están los objetos, in specific. For example, in, significa dentro, on, sobre, under, significa abajo, next to, a la par. Por eso cuando a veces están y dicen next, next, siguiente, o sea, ¿verdad? El que sigue, está a la par. Behind, es atrás. In front of, no in front of, in front of, es enfrente. Between, es en medio, ok? Between, between. 
I think uh, you know most of, the, of these words, but maybe the new the new words for you could 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 it be under, behind, and between. In front of is like very logic, similar to in is logic. Okay, so that that is in, on, under, next to, behind, in front of, between. Okay, so um, hay una canción del grupo que se llama Men at Work, eh, que se llama Down, Under. Yeah. It's a good this song, teacher. Ah, you know that song? And this group, yeah, and this group, Men at Work. Men at Work, yeah. Men at Work has a, a lot of good songs. Yeah. Uh, yes, Silvana? Can you repeat what is on? No. Excuse me, uh, under. Under, abajo. Mm -hmm. Bajo de o abajo, under. Mm -hmm. Entonces, debemos de enfocarnos, uh, we have to focus on the green ball. Donde nos muestra es esta bola, esa pelota verde, ¿verdad? Adentro, sobre, abajo, a la par, atrás, adelante, enfrente, entre, ¿ok? So, we're going to use uh, these words y es, son bien fáciles, bien, 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 bien fáciles de usar. Digamos, si yo digo, the ball is in the box. La pelota está en la caja. The ball is on the box. The ball is under the box. The ball is next to the box. The ball is behind the ball, the box. The ball is in front of the box and the ball is between the boxes. Okay. So I need you to tell me, please. Jenny starts, Jenny comienza. Necesito que vean estos objetos. There, here we have the cat, a teddy bear, a car. Entonces necesito que me digan, el gato está de la tal cosa. Eh, por mm -hmm. ejemplo, mm -hmm. eh, teddy bear. The cat, the cat is behind the bed. Yeah, the cat is behind the bed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about Silvana? And then Elena. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Elenita, your turn. Uh, the bear uh, next to the bed. Okay, the bear is next to the bear. The, 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 the bed, yeah, the bear, the teddy bear mm -hmm, is next to the bed or in front of. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, both are correct. Thank you. Okay, and let's, let's listen. Silvana, are you ready? Yes, and then, sir. okay, and then Bane. Mm -hmm. Ball? Yeah. Ball is uh, under the chair. Yeah, ya ves la que me preguntaste. Good, the ball is under the chair. Okay, good. What about Mabel? Hello, Mabel. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. Hello, teacher. Hello. ¿Viste las preposiciones que mencioné? Esas, yes. In, on. Yeah, okay, okay, uh -huh. Mabel. I need you to tell me where are, uh, select one object and tell me the location. Y dime la ubicación, no sé si está a la par de tal cosa, si está enfrente de... Uh -huh. You can use the car, the socks, the notebook, the computer, or, yeah, computer. Uh -huh. The notebook on uh, the table. Oh, okay, okay, the book is, is on. The shelf. On. Yeah. On. Uh -huh. Is on the shelf. Okay. On. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, what about Bane and then Linda? Uh, yeah, the ball is under the chair. Okay. The ball, ball is under the chair. Ya me la dijeron, pero vaya. Vamos a, ya te voy a preguntar de nuevo. Okay. Linda okay. and then Jose. Um, the fishes is are on the table. Muy bien. The fish, in este caso, fish es una palabra que no se pluraliza. Ah. The okay. fish are, bien raro, ¿verdad? Porque the fish is, pero también se dice the fish are. Mm -hmm. Bien raro. Mm -hmm. Sería the fish are, eh, me dijiste, on, on the table. On the table. Perfect. Ok, José, and then Naum. The bed is in the room. 
<laughs> I definitely the bed is in the room. Yeah. Okay, now. Okay. Mm -hmm. The 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 table line is in front of the bed. Okay, yes, good. <laughs> um tell me Jenny, where are the colors? There are some colors in France. On the desk, on um, or next to the table. Oh, yeah. Next to colors, next to the book. Yeah, the colors are. Aquí vamos a utilizar bastante el verb. Okay. 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 Good. And here we have some ah, others. Okay. Okay. And okay. uh, let's see, Elenita, where is the dog? And Linda, where is the cat? So, Elena. The dog in, in front of the sofa. Ok. No. Bueno, yo creo que si estaría enfrente, estaría acá quizás, Elena. El, no, el perrito está enfrente. De, no. Mm, yo creo que estaría a la par. <risa> si te voy a inventar, Elena. <risa> <risa> uh -huh. Es que le dio la carita así. <risa> ok. Tiene hambre, ok. Entonces, ¿cómo sería lo correcto? Uh -huh. A la par, ¿cómo se dice? Next to. Ya. Yeah. Sofa. So, ok. The dog is next to the sofa. Thank you. Linda, where is the cat? The cat is on the sofa. Thank you. Um, let's see. Naum, where is the fish bowl? They are on the, I don't know how to say. The fishbowl, fishbowl. Is it what is that? I, fish ah, it's, is it's on the table. Yeah. It's on the table. It's on the table. Thank okay. you. Okay. Um, Jose, where is the table? The table is next to the sofa. Thank you. And what about Silvana? Where is the pillow? Almohada, pillow. The pillow is behind, behind the gut. The cat. The cat. cat. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. I think you don't have any problem about remember that we have to use verb B. Tenemos que usar el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Y no me estoy inventando con Marinita que se me intenta ver las cosas. Okay. So here we have behind. Atrás ya tenemos esto in front, enfrente, next to, repaso, between. En este caso, near, este es bien importante, lo vamos a utilizar. Near significa cerca. Ok, near. Pero cerca es una, uh, it's a word that is not so specific. Es una cuestión un tanto ambigua. O sea, perdón, es como relativa, cerca. No, no es como next to, que next to es a la par. Behind es cuando está, pues, ¿verdad? Ok, near, above es otra forma de decir sobre, pero no cuando está pegado, sino que above, ¿ok? Below es otra manera de decirlo. Esto para que ustedes no se confundan cuando vean estas palabras, ¿ok? Below es abajo, similar como under, in, on, ¿ok? So this. Remember that I give you this kind of vocabulary for you to have a clear idea and a wide uh, vision, una visión como bien amplia about uh, vocabulary, ¿ok? So, Um, vamos a hablar acerca de las direcciones. How to use simple prepositions of place. En este caso vamos a utilizar on, in, at, pero para hablar acerca de avenidas, de esquinas, de calles. Por ejemplo, on Fourth Avenue significa en la cuarta avenida. On the corner significa en la esquina. On street, en la calle. In El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Y aquí at utilizamos at the meeting room, at work, at the bank. ¿Ok? Ahorita esta vamos a utilizar. So I need you to, to have, uh, to, to, to keep it in mind. Que, que lo mantengan pues en, en mente. ¿Ok? On, ¿verdad? On Fort Avenue, on the corner, on the street. So, um, let's start with Jose. Select one, my friend. We're going to use... On, okay. in, at. Okay. Uh, the first 
I work in the park that is on First Avenue and various streets. Yes. Uh, yeah, that is on First Avenue. Yeah, very Thank you. What about Linda? You can pick one from two to six. Okay. Uh, two. Mm -hmm. uh, the factory is located at La Libertad. Okay. Mm, sería at La Libertad or in La Libertad? No. In, in La Libertad. Yes, yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay, uh, Elena, please. No me inventes nada, Elena. No me estoy inventando otras palabras, okay? Three, Hi, four, three four, five, or six. Um, um, teacher, me voy a repetir los nombres. Es que casi no lo escucho, pero que está lloviendo. Bien, vamos a utilizar cualquiera de estas. On, in, mm -hmm. at, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then Silvana. Um, two? Two is taken. One and two are taken. Three, four, five, or six. Okay. Um, I'm going three? to give you time. I'm going to give you time, Elena. Okay. Okay. Silvana, are you ready? A ver si no... mm -hmm. Number four. Yeah, Anna. Anna works in the company that in that in is in the in town. In town, yes, que está en la ciudad. Thank you. It's in town. Thank you. Elena, ready? Number three. Okay, three. We. Yes. Right. Uh, we see you at training room. Are of the cafeteria? Yeah. Yes, cafeteria, cafeteria. Okay. Ese es bien rara. Normalmente se dice café, pero es cafeteria aquí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, excellent. We see you at the okay. training room or at the cafeteria. Thank you. Jenny, five or six? Five. My relatives. My relatives go, go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. Yeah, go to the mall, mall that is on Roosevelt Street. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, can you help Mabel? Could you help me with number six? Tell him. Tell him that we are at the just just aquí, just aquí. Yeah. Sí, verdad. Yeah, yeah. It's at the meeting room with everybody. Everybody. Yes. Thank you, Mother. Very good done. Okay. So um, we're going to continue what uh, talking about the biggest risk you have taken. So um, maybe Linda, could you help me with your opinion about the, the biggest risk you have taken? Yes. Please, Linda. Uh, I think um, travel, traveling by plane is a... Uh, traveling by plane? To, to what yes. place or to what country? Um, or here I in the Salvador? No, no. I travel to Spain. Ah, yes. Okay. How uh, how much time? Cuánto tiempo? Duro? Okay, good. And, and when I traveled, there was a lot of turbulence. Wow, I can imagine. So you uh, you were afraid. Tenía un poquito de miedo. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Linda, for for sharing your opinion. And what about Mabel? Could you tell me uh, one of the biggest risks you have taken, Mabel? ¿Cómo dice? Uno de los riesgos más grandes que has tomado. Uh -huh. Ok, 
I'm going to give you time. Te voy a dar un poquito de tiempo para que después me hecho respuesta. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, here, les doy siete segundos para que recuerden es, estos lugares. Okay. Check a look. Revísenlos. Veanlos. Veanlos bien. Okay, Jenny, tell me two places that you saw. And then Elenita, que se quedó The park. And? And? Another place? Ah, uh, school. Okay, park and, park and school. Elena, then Silvana. And uh, that. The church. The church. And bank. Good. Silvana, ¿ya se lo ganaron a la pobre? Sí, Ay, sí, creo que se no le escucho, le estoy oyendo. Vaya. Yeah. ¿Y no tenés audífonos? ¿Headphones? No, se me han arruinado. I'm sorry. Okay, no vas a escuchar mi voz. I'm sorry, teacher. Ok. Ajá, Silvana. Hola. I'm sorry. Ah, City Hall. City Hall. And? Bank. Bank. Okay. Sure. Ya me la dijeron. Ya me la dijeron. Ay, Dios. Okay. Vaya, te creo. Naum, tell me. Okay, teacher. Uh, mall and restaurant. Mall and restaurant. Good. Modern okay. restaurant. Jose, do you remember others? Bank, church, school, park, but all this my classmates say. Okay. So here we have bank. These are the parts of uh of uh yeah, or the places in a city. So here we have bank, mall, no small, mall, restaurant. Sport Palace, Park, Arrows Company, que es una compañía, Book World, eh, City Hall, que significa alcaldía, City Hall, Church, Iglesia, School, Escuela. Ok, so, uh, can you see? First Avenue, pueden ver la primera avenida, Second Avenue, Barrio Street, and Roosevelt Street. So, which is the street the restaurant on? This is for um, Silvana. Which is the street is which? Perdón. Which the street is the restaurant on? In cual calle is the restaurant? Street. Roosevelt. Yes, Roosevelt. Roosevelt Street. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, Jose, number two, which street is the city hall on? The city hall is uh, on Second Avenue. Okay, but we're talking about street. Estamos hablando cerca de calles. Uh, excuse me, uh, Roosevelt Street. Yeah, it is in front of Second Avenue. Yeah, but yeah, also on Roosevelt Street. Thank you. Okay, and number three, let's listen to Vanessa. Which street is the park on? Sería uh, entre. Jenny, ¿cómo se dice entre? How do you say entre? Pero no entre de coming, no. De entre. Between. Between, ajá. A no, ver, Vane, is between. Is between Freeze Avenue and Second Avenue. Bien, pero we are talking about, estamos hablando cerca de calles, street, y esas son uh, avenidas. Uh -huh. Entonces sería... Uh, It's between... Uh, Russo, sería entre Barrio Stream and... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> between uh, Barrio Stream and... and Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So here we have this. Well, um, now that we have this very clear, ya tenemos como que esto bastante claro. 
vamos también, hay otras maneras. There are different ways to ask for address or direction. Hay diferentes formas para decir, para pedir eh, la dirección o pedir uh, eh, ¿qué? Ajá, o alguna dirección o las indicaciones. Es bien fácil decir, where is the bank? Where is the mall? Where is the restaurant? ¿Ok? Where is the sport palace? Podemos decir cualquiera de esas, pero podemos decir las siguientes también. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to the museum? Disculpe, ¿me puedes decirme eh, pues el camino al museo? Excuse me, how do I get to the post office? Pardon, este es pardon, pardon, pardon. No, pardon, pardon me, no. Pardon. Pardon me, I'm lost. How do I get to the cafe? Please tell me how I get to your apartment. Okay, bueno, se escucha raro, pero... Okay, so there are four uh, ways to ask for uh, the address. So, we're going to talk about um, the, the other parts of the city. Vamos a hablar de las otras partes de la ciudad. And I'm going to give you seven seconds. Le doy siete segundos. Vean, veamos acá. Try to memorize. Traten de memorizar. No como Silvana, que las anoto todas. Es que memorice, memorice. Ok, me gustan esas miradas que se quedan como... Mm, quieren el más. Um, ok, Mabel, tell me two uh, places. Eh, sería la... El lugar. No, mention two places, menciona dos lugares. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Te daré tiempo. Um, what about Jenny? Do you remember two places? Toy Star. Toy Star. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. And Charles. Okay, good. Linda and Jose. And Petro and Supermarket. Okay, thank you. Jose? Pet shop and bookshop. Okay, good. Naum, can you hear me? Me escucha, Naum? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. But, claro que yes. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I, I, I was writing the message and you took the, the, the picture. Yeah, it is, it's raining a lot. Estoy lloviendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, no sé si me alcanzas a escuchar bien. Yes. Okay. Can you mention two places? Puede mencionar dos lugares? Uh, it was, I was driving when you shared with me. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I'm so, sorry. no problem. Silvana? Toy store and flower shop. Oh, okay, flower shop, good. Okay, so uh, let's see. Here we have uh, the bank, bookstore, supermarket, pet shop, a fast food restaurant, school, uh, music store, flower shop. Yeah. Here we have Santos Domont Street, Rosa e Silva Avenue, Amelia Street. Okay. So um, let's see. We're going to talk about. Necesito que ustedes pregunten entre ustedes. Por ejemplo, Elena le pregunta a Silvana. Uh, Silvana, where is the bookstore? Entonces Silvana dice, it's in front of, it's next to, it's between, o puede decir la calle, on eh, Rosa and Silva Avenue, on Domon Street. Okay? So, Elena, you start. Pregunta. Teacher, eh, where is the bookstore? Where is the Puede poner la diapositiva número 15, por favor. Me quiero guiar. La 15. Wait. This. Esta. This is three. Which is. Entre o cuál. Uh -huh. ¿A quién le vas a preguntar? Le tienes que preguntar a alguien. Ah, ok. Uh, a Silvana. Uh -huh. Eh. Eh. 
which street uh, next to flower shop? Ok, ¿a quién le preguntas? A Silvana. Ok, Silvana, which street is next to the flower shop? It's a flower shop. Mm -hmm. Santos Dumont Street. Yeah, ok. Ahora, Silvana, puedes preguntar de la misma manera o simplemente puedes decir where is y, por ejemplo, pet shop. Mm -hmm. Depends on you. Where is... Eh... Toy Store. ¿A quién? Mabel. ¿A quién le preguntas? Mabel. Abel. Ah, Mabel, ok. Mabel. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Mabel, uh, where is the, the what? The pet shop. The Toy Store. Ah, the Toy Store, I'm sorry. Toy Story, ok. Ajá, Mabel, Toy where story. is the Toy Store is um, between music store and restaurant. Yes, yes. Okay, Mabel, now you ask to another. Pregúntale a alguien más. Which uh, street is the um, bookstore? Okay, which street? Bookstore. A quién? Um, Elena. Okay, Elena. Which street? Okay. Mm -hmm. Perdón, para repetir la, la pregunta. Okay. Which street is the bookstore? ¿Cuál calle? ¿Cuál calle? Está enfrente. Eh, is Rose. Rosa en Silva Avenue. En mm -hmm. Santos Dormont Street. Mm -hmm. Porque te pregunta la calle, o sea, esta es Street y esta es Avenue. Mm -hmm. Ah, avenue, avenue, avenue. Ok. Sería Santos Dormont Street. Yes, thank you. Ok, um, José, where is the restaurant? The restaurant is in the corner of Rosa de Silva Avenue and Amelia Street. Of course, it is. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer, where is the bank? The bank is in front, is in front of uh, Santos Dalmont Street. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you. Um, let's listen to Naum. Naum, where is the supermarket? Okay, the supermarket is in the Rosa and Silva Avenue. Okay, on Rosa and Silva Avenue. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Vanessa, where is fast food restaurant? Fast food restaurant is in the Amelia Street. On Amelia Street. On Amelia Street. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Very Hello. good. Good evening. Yes. Hello, Hugo. How are you, my friend? Good? Uh, good, teacher. Um, I'm sorry for late. Yeah, yeah, I know that there are some things that, that happens, but uh, here I'm going to check uh, your assistant. So, thank you. Hugo, is, hey. it is raining near your house? Yeah, yeah. It's raining uh, he, uh, here. Okay. It is raining cats and dogs. Está lloviendo chuchos y gatos. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, como es fin de mes para mí, siendo asistente contable, es la temporada más cruda. Así okay. que la, I... la disculpa del caso. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank you for telling me. Gracias por decirme, Hugo. So, uh, but remember, uh, today is Tuesday. So we have four more classes, cuatro clases más. Así que yes. me, tienen, me tienen que aguantar cuatro clases más. De ahí van a ser libres, como, ¿verdad? So. Ay, no, todavía. No lloren, no lloren. Tranquilos, tranquilos. So, <laughs> come on. But thank you, remember, uh, congratulations, felicidades. Todos llevan buenas notas. Son de los grupos que llevan mejores notas. So, nice for you. 
Eh, we're about to finish. Ya vamos para a terminar. Solo falta el ejercicio 4 y va a hacer falta el examen final. Que el examen final es similar al midterm. Así que, no problem. Pero ustedes eso es para bebés. Ustedes 10 de 10. Ok. So, um, vamos a hablar sobre where is located your workplace. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Entonces me van a mencionar eh, la dirección. No es necesario, no es necesario que me digan la dirección exacta, pero sí me pueden decir, uh, my workplace is, y me dicen on, si conocen la calle, por ejemplo, on calle Arce Street, o si es una colonia, o si es una residencial, residential, o si es, ajá. Uh -huh, o en algún departamento, it's in San Miguel, yeah, it's up to you. Okay, so let's listen to Jose. Okay, my friend, tell me, where is your workplace? Okay, um, my workplace is on Autopista Tucumalapa Street. Yeah, that, that, that's nice, good, good for you. Uh, now let's listen to Linda. Where oh. is your workplace? Uh, my workplace is on St. Helena Boulevard. Oh, okay, nice. Thank you. That's correct. Um, what about Mabel? Where is your workplace, Mabel? My workplace is in Soyapango City. Okay, in Soyapango City. Okay, nice. Se me, se me hace como soy así. Yes. Okay, Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Hugo, what about you, my friend? Where is your workplace? Uh, on, on 89 North, number 515, near, uh, how do you say, Torre? Tower. Tower, near Tower World Trade Center, Colonia Escalón. Oh, wow, very specific, va? Bien específico, por si le quieren ir a cobrar al pobre Hugo. Okay, nice for you. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Jenny, your turn. Where is your workplace? On the street to the lago. Okay. In Ilopango? In Cojutepeque. Ah, Cojute, yes. Cerro de las Pavas and everything. And chorizos and all those things. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's see. Silvana, where is your workplace? Uh... The Centro de Negocios for America is the name. Mm -hmm. It's in front of Peña del Barca and on Colonia Escalón. It's uh, under Torre Futura. Yeah, uh -huh. under Torre Futura. Okay. Oh, good. Very central. Okay, Vanessa, where is your workplace? Um... Is in on um, eleven north in Avenue and seven in the Colonia Escalón, el centro de negocio. Okay, good. Son compañeros con Silvana. Are your relatives son familiares? No, creo que ya se encontraría. Bueno, ahora ya son amigos. Thank you. Um, Naum, where is your workplace? Naum, este Naum como que de repente parece, okay. Ah, uh, the, that the, that the Jose, Jose said. It's the same. Yeah, but, but it's near to Olocuita City. Okay, near to Olocuita City, okay. Good. Okay. Elenita, tell me. Para que te vayamos a cobrar. <laughs> Uh, my workplace is Pango City. Pango City, okay. Good. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Now that we, we have more information about the workplace, and it is like a, a very, what? Uh, here we have, uh, we have an speaking activity, activity related to articles. Tenemos una, una actividad, pues, uh, acerca de, pues, uh, algunos artículos. I'm going to show you. 
antes que nada, before anything, le voy a comentar algo. Les va a llegar un correo esta semana acerca de una encuesta. No la hagan, please, please, please. No la hagan, porque la primera encuesta creo que ya se las hicieron. Creo que hubo una encuesta, ¿sí? Ajá, nice. Pero esta encuesta que les va a llegar es para que la terminemos el último día de clases. Entonces, uno de los requisitos para finalizar el curso es que hagan todas las tareas, que asistan a clases y que terminen el examen eh, final. Pero ese mismo día, o sea, el, este lunes que viene, que va a ser la última clase, la clase número 20, vamos a tener, eh, bueno, el desarrollo de esa encuesta. La vamos a hacer juntos. Yo les voy a ir explicando paso por paso. ¿Ok? So, you're relaxed. Porque lo que la mayoría de grupos hace es que les llega el correo y lo hacen rápido. ¿Verdad? Pero vamos a tener que esperar. ¿Ok? Lo que pasa es que ahí les aparece en el mensaje. Que no lo hagan, lo vamos a hacer en clase. Pero a veces uno se emociona. ¿Verdad? So, I understand you. Um, let me see. Cuando solo le quieren poner 10, es teacher. Ah, no, no, pues está bueno. No me enojo. No, es que también ese curso, eh, bueno, la, la encuesta anterior yo creo que sí era sobre, sobre mi desempeño o algo así, me parece el curso. Esa encuesta yo no la he visto, ¿verdad? Pero esta que viene es sobre el curso en general, no tanto de mí, sino que es más bien del programa en general que estamos viendo, ¿ok? So, here we have conversation one, two, three and four. Y después vamos a tener una conversación así, pues, bueno, una, una práctica un poquito diferente. So, um, Here we have conversation one. Le voy a pronunciar las palabras en, en amarillo. Bueno, solo recordarles que nos quedan 27, bueno, no, 37 minutos. Ya casi terminó. Pencil, pencil, no pencil, pencil, eraser, anything, sounds, think, think, view, Building. The ending. Thought. I thought. Way. Surprise. Characters. Everything. Otra vez. Pencil. Eraser. Anything. Sounds. Think. View. Building. The ending. Thought. Way. Surprise. Characters. Everything. Okay, so I need you to help me, Elena and Jose, please. Uh, Jose, you are the man. Elena, you are the woman. Okay, so for conversation number two, I will need Hugo, you are the man. And Silvana, you're going to be the woman. Okay. So, Elena. Ah, I'm sorry, Jose. Okay. Uh, do you have a pen I can use? No, but... I have a pencil. Thanks. Do you have an eraser? The pencil has an eraser. Mm -hmm. Great. And some paper? My gosh. You don't have anything. Yes, thank you. Entonces aquí le dice, ¿verdad? Que le, que le, le presté borra y ya está de, aquí está, está de piricho. Básicamente resumi, resumieron mi vida académica. Okay. <ríe> My gosh, mi Dios, tú no tienes nada, you don't have anything. Oh. Y vos decís, le tengo su recuerdo. Ok, so, yeah, my gosh, cuando decimos my gosh, es oh my God, como eso. Iba a ser otra expresión, pero no. Ok, so here we have Silvana and here we have Hugo. So, uh, conversation number two, two. Number three, I will need Jennifer and I will need Naomi for number three. Okay, so number two, action. Wood. Would you like a sandwich? Would love a sandwich. And some chips. That's nice. And a drink. Um, okay, I have water. Mm -hmm. Se dan cuenta que están bien fáciles esta conversación. Demasiado, voy a buscar otra muy difícil. Demasiado fácil. Okay, so let's go. Thank you. 
Uh, that, that's the correct pronunciation. So number three, we have uh, the sexy voice of Jenny and Naum. And after that, we will have the excellent voice of Linda and Bunny for number four. So number three, showtime. What do you think about your new house? It's nice. It has a chicken kitchen. A kitchen. A, <laughs> a, kitchen. a, a big bedroom and a nice bathroom. Do you have a garden? No, but I have a courtyard. Nice. Do you have a good view? No, there is a building next door. Okay, muy bien. Entonces le pones su nueva casa. Garden significa jardín y courtyard. Courtyard es el jardincito que tenemos enfrente de las casas, que no es un jardín. Ya, yeah, solo es para estacionar el carro. Entonces, por eso le preguntan, do you have a garden? No, but I have a courtyard. O sea, que tiene un, un espacio donde tiene gramita y plantitas, pero no es un garden, ¿verdad? No es un garden. A todos nos gustan no gusta los gardens, pero no todos tenemos esa posibilidad, ¿verdad? Por la casa, ¿ok? Number four. And we have Linda and Bane. Okay. Showtime. Okay. Um, did you like the book? Yes. I loved the ending. Really? I thought the ending was not that good. No. Why the surprise? And the end was great. Did you like the characters? Characters. Characters. Yes, I read. I read everything about it. About it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bien. Solo para eh, so, solo re, repasar the ending. Thought. No way. No way. No le dicen a alguien way, sino que no way de 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 ninguna manera para nada. Okay. Surprise character, everything. Okay, so um, I need you to have a screenshot. Pero voy a quitar la cámara para no salir y así ya me da pena. I have seen how I appear. Ya vi cómo aparezco en las fotos y no. Basta ya. Linda se parece al, al, al meme, el señor que sale. <laughs> Go, Linda. Da, vamos, Linda. Tú puedes. You can do it. Pero así tenés que salir, Belinda. Así. Ya, yeah, así. No, 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 no. Espérate. Ok. Hoy sí. So, you have now number one and you have number two. And I need you to have number three and number four. And we are about to finish. Ya estamos casi para terminar. Bueno, falta un poquito. Hello, Sam. How are you doing? Finally at home, right? Right, teacher. Okay, that, that, that's good. That's good. It's very difficult. The the right and the signal of phone is very bad. Yes, yes, and, and that happens. It, it is difficult to see, especially when it is uh, like foggy. Como está un poquito nublado. So um, before um, yes, I'm going to the camera. Before we go to, to the conversation, I need you to have to tell me some experiences. Mabel nos iba a contar también a un par de experiencias about risk. Eh, no sé si estás lista, Mabel, about risk, lo que habíamos comentado, que es, what is the biggest risk you have taken? ¿Cuál es el riesgo más grande que tú has tomado? ¿Lo tienes listo, Mabel? Or maybe later. <laughs> sí, no, okay. pero la va a risa. Vamos, the go to the park with my boy in the sweet eh, ruedas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in a playland park, like, a, like yeah. Yes. Like a park. Ajá, ajá. Eh, es que no me gusta. No, ah, you I don't like, like it. I don't like it. Y lo hice por mi hijo y wow, horrible. Wow, you were screaming y estuviste gritando y todo eso. Wow, and sí. well, that's adventure, es parte de la vida. So sí. you were like pushed, eh, you're como obligada, okay. Sí. Thank you, Mabel, okay. Fue un, un gran sacrificio. 
Good. What about you, Sam? What is the biggest risk you have taken? Uh, excuse me, repeat, please. What is the biggest risk you have taken? The risk más grande que has tomado. Married. <laughs> uh, casarme, no. <laughs> okay, get married. It is a risk. Okay, it's a question. Ojalá que no te escuche. Do you recommend no. marriage? Recommend el matrimonio? Uh, or sometimes? Or, or, uh, yes, oh. yes, I am. I am um, 13 years of marriage. What? Uh, Third, okay. Uh, 13, 13. Yeah, 13, yes. 13. 13 years of yes. marriage. Yes. What time? Oh, and what time? How old were you when you get married? What time? Uh, uh -huh. How old am, were you when you get married? I am 18 years. I was. Old. I was 18. I was. I no, was. I was. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, 18 years old and you get married. So, okay. And... Okay. But you, you, live, you live like happy, you have kids, right? Yes, I am happy. Okay. How many kids do you have? Uh, two. Two. Okay. And how old are they? Uh, the first have 10 the, years the first the first the first is the first 10 10 is, is 10. Is 10 years and okay. the second and the second three years all three okay so sam you are 31 years old or 32 31 yes yes okay. you 31. are very young in, in august 10 uh, uh, cumplo. Mm -hmm. I will have, I will have, mm -hmm. I will have 32 years old. Okay, on August 10. Okay, that's good. Good for you. Okay, just, just, just a question. Bane, you are not married, right? Bane, are you single or married? Casada? Casada? No. No. Okay. No. No, it's. A veces, sometimes. Okay, good. So thank you, Sam, for telling your experience. Wow, uh, 13 years of marriage. It's a good, it's, it's a good mark, una buena marca. A ver si alguno de nosotros lo logramos. Yeah, why not? It is todo es posible. Everything is possible. Sí, dice. Quiero más. Okay, um, and then tell me where is your workplace, Sam? ¿Dónde está tu, tu, tu lugar de trabajo? Where is your workplace? Uh, my work uh, is in Ant Antigua Cuscatlán, Santa Elena. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. In, is in um, Centro Comercial Acción Plaza. Mm -hmm. Okay. With with Linda, our our. Uh, you are your couple. You're married. No, right. No, no, están casados yes. ustedes, right? No, okay. No, o sea, Linda es mi compañera de trabajo. Okay. Mira, Linda, más, se le traba. La, la... Okay, so you are <laughs> colleagues. You are sí. colleagues. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. Relax. Ella, es más, ella, ella ocupa ahora mi puesto. Es mi sucesora. <laughs> really, really. Bless you. Salud. Saludcita. Okay, so Linda, you are, yeah, the successor of Sam. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice, very nice, good. Thank you for sharing. Okay, uh, let's go to, to, to the conversation. I needed to be ready. Quiero que estén listas. Y pues eh, ya nos quedarían 24 minutes, 24 minutes, okay? So let's practice a little bit.
I'm sorry, I'm taking some time to just take a the tiempo. Okay, see you in a couple of minutes. Le veo un par de minutos. The pencil has a ear and a razor. Yes. Cambiamos, change. Ahora usted inicia. Okay. Hello, guys. Did you finish? ¿Te terminaron. No. Ah. ah, okay, okay, no problem. Continue. Let's continue. No problem. What do you think about your new love bed, the ending? Really, I I thought the ending was not. I thought the ending was not that good. No way. The surprise at the end was great. Did you like the character? Yes. No way. The story and the end was great. Did you like the character? No way. The surprise at the Hello, Linda. Okay, I'm going to start with you. Voy a comenzar contigo, Linda. Necesito, okay, everybody, I need you to select one question. Necesito que seleccionen una pregunta. Y quiero escuchar la pronunciación con respecto a esa pregunta, okay? So, Linda, you start and then we go with Vane. Okay, Linda? Cualquier pregunta de, from, from the different conversations, okay? Okay, and conversation three. What do you think about your new house? Okay, thank you. Vanessa and then Samuel. Vane. Perdón. Eh, sería, would, would you like a sandwich? Good, como decir good morning. Good. Así, good. Uh, would you like a sandwich? Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we go with uh, Mabel and then we go with Elena. Pick any of these uh, questions. Selección cualquier pregunta y pronuncie. Okay, Mabel, and then we go with Elena. You are your teacher, no? I'm sorry, Sam, Sam. Right. Okay, Mabel and then Sam, and then Elena. Thank you, Sam. Okay, Mabel. Great. And some paper? Yes, and some paper. ¿Te das cuenta que esa, esa pregunta ni siquiera do you, have, do you want some paper? No, so, and some paper? Yes, that's that it. Thank you. Okay, Sam, and then Elena. 
Okay. Uh, what do you What do you think about your new house? Yeah. What do you think about your new house? Good. Elena, then Hugo. Um, nice. Do you have a good view? Mm -hmm. Good view. Thank you, Hugo. Then Jenny. Okay, Hugo. Okay, maybe it's raining. Okay, Jenny, can you say where the city? What do you think about your new house? Mm -hmm. What do you think about your new house? Es un poquito larga esa pregunta. Okay, nice. What about Jose and then Silvana? And some chips. Que va. And some chips, yes. No, okay, okay. Oh, no, there are no, there are no. There. <laughs> um, what? And a drink? No, no, no. It's it's. Mira, it's okay. Okay. What do you think about your new house? Uh -huh, okay, <laughs> good. Silvana then Hugo. Do you have a good view? Do you have a good view? Yes, Hugo, your turn, my friend. And then now. Um. Would you like a sandwich? Good. Yeah, good. No, your turn. Did you like the book? Uh -huh. Did you like the book? Okay, perfect. Yes, same minutes, 16 minutes. I need you to, uh, well, I will show you something. Okay, I'm going to open it. Okay. Les doy un par de segundos para que le den una mirada a esto, okay? Okay, tell me, Mabel, what do you remember? ¿Qué recuerdas de lo que viste? Yes, Mabel. And then Vanessa. Um, a cold? A cold, oh yes, a cold. Vane, and then Hugo. A rush. A rush, yes, rush. Mm -hmm. Ranch es una salsa. Rush, yes. Yeah, rush. Uh, Hugo. A fever. Fever, yeah. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, fever. Uh, Sam, and then Jose. Uh, a broken leg. Yeah, a broken leg, okay. And who else? Jose, and then Elena. My yesterday symptoms, headache and stomachache. Mm, yeah, your favorites. I Your don't favorite. forget me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Elena de Silvana. Ya dijeron. A fever. Ay, tío, ya va. Ya <laughs> dijeron. No. Okay, Silvana. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. You mentioned a broken leg. Mm. Jenny es la salvación. O la salvación. The flu. The hmm? flu or. The flu or. Tuts. Toothache. 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 Yes. Toothache. Yes. Okay. Linda. Thank you. Linda. Fever. <laughs> okay. Fever. Seguimos con la fever. Okay. Con copiones. Okay. <laughs> and here we have some symptoms. Um, it is, uh, I believe, there are some worst symptoms or pains. Entonces, tenemos los pains, que son dolores, or symptoms. I think uh, nobody likes it. Yo considero que a nadie le gusta todo eso. Pero here we have asthma, backache. Miren, todo lo que termina en H, esto se pronuncia ache, backache, como earache, dolor de oído. Ache significa dolor. Backache, dolor de espalda. Earache, dolor de oído. Headache, lo de José. Dolor de cabeza, headache, ¿verdad? Eh, stomachache, no, stomachache. Stomachache, uh, it's uh, a pain in the stomach, dolor de estómago. Porque nadie le gusta eso. Toothache, dolor de dientes. Mm, this is really, esto es muy chistoso. Okay. Toothache, entonces todo termina en ache, como cake. So, asthma, 
backache, a broken leg, a cold, ¿verdad? Cough, ¿verdad? Cold es como un resfriado, ¿ok? Eh, cough es como la gripe, se escucha como cough, cough, es como coffee, pero cough. La G y la H se pronuncia como esto. Earache es dolor de oídos. Fever, ¿verdad? Es fiebre. The flu, ese es gripe. La gripe es más eh, fuerte que, que un resfriado. But because of the flu, uh, you can have different symptoms. Se tiene más diferentes síntomas. Se siente uno más, eh, como dicen, low battery. Se siente como con menos energía. Headache. Aquí está el pueblo de José ayer. Heart, ok. Heart burn. Es como una taquicardia. Um, let's see. The measles. Measles. Es, ¿Cómo se llama esto? Es, um, lo que le sale es este, como sarampión. Sarampión es así, ¿no? Rash es cuando tiene una picazón, una irritación. Soul throat. Este soul también significa dolor y throat es garganta. Stomach ache, ya se la sabe, desde que es dolor de estómago. Sunburn es quemaduras, quemaduras por el sol. Y esto pasa cuando van a la playa, when you go to the beach and you don't use uh, any type of cream, sino utilizan de diferente, ningún tipo de, uh, ningún tipo de, 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 de cream. Okay. So, um, here we have today, ¿verdad? Que es dolor de oído. Ok, tell me what is the worst. ¿Cuál creen que es el peor? Ok, let's listen to Elena. Tell me. ¿Qué es, ¿Cuál es el peor de todos estos, Elena? And then, then. How do you say todos? <laughs> yeah, no, you have to select one or two. Okay, I, uh, a fever. Okay, mm -hmm. fever. Okay, you don't like fever. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Jenny, then Bunny. Asthma. Asthma. Okay, do you have asthma, Jenny? No. no. But you have seen. Y efectos, ha visto los efectos. Yo creo que es por lo de dejar de respirar, sentir que no puedes respirar, ha de ser, ha de ser muy, muy angustiante. Yeah, yeah. The attacks, los ataques. Ok, thank you. Ok, let's go with Vanessa. Yes. No. A rush. Ok, uh, uh, Linda dice rush. Yes. Yes, And that's desperating, desesperante eso de rush. Ok. Bane, thank you, Linda. Bane, and then, uh, no. The flow. The flow. flow. The flow. Reggaeton, okay, no. The flu. flu. The flu. Flow, eh? The flu. Okay. And... No, le dije, the flu. Okay, flu. And no, and then some. Okay. Hello, uh, is... the uh, a broken left. A broken leg is, is very painful. Yeah, you have experience. This yes, wow. and I don't, I don't desire. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nobody. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, Sam yeah. and then Jose. Uh, me too. A broken leg. I have a broken leg. In the but, past. Uh -huh. But um, to Hilburn. Ah, really? Wow, that's dangerous. Peligroso. Heartburn is is very dangerous because it's is probably the heart. Yes. Of course, of course, it is. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, what about Jose and Sipana? A headache. Because yeah, my, I'm sorry. I'm my, sorry. My <laughs> curado operation work. It's slow. Yes, yes. It's different, of course. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Silvana and then Mabel. And Irak? Irak. Mm -hmm. And two. Today. 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 Yes. So let's see what I'm Mabel, and then we go with. Okay, Mabel. And then Hugo. Uh, Headache. Yes. Headache. 
es cero. Thank you, Hugo. Aturesh. Aturesh. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, we have only seven minutes. Tenemos solo siete minutos. Y la última actividad que quiero que hagamos es la, la siguiente. What has been the worst purchase you have made? La peor compra que ustedes han hecho. Whatever, it can be clothes, it can be ropa, it can be a cell phone, it can be a, a cable, a cable, a TV, a refrigerator. Yes? Okay, let's listen to Linda. Está riendo, creo que ya tiene, tiene un par de cosas que me está contando. Uh, the worst purchase I have, I have made. Uh, is my car <laughs> really yes okay i'm so yeah. sorry it is not so new it was not so new no estaba tan nuevo no and traía varias problemitas it has, well, y no los... small Ajá. problem y no... y en el momento que lo adquirí se suponía que estaba todo bien pero realmente no Okay, I'm sorry. Yes, that happens a lot. Eso pasa bastante. I have heard uh, different things like that. Okay, thank you. What about Jose? Tell me. And then Mabel, what is the worst purchase you have made? The worst purchase of I made is a cell phone. A cell phone? What What yeah. brand? Around okay. um, six years ago, I purchased a cell phone. Uh, for the link of Facebook. Oh, but okay. I, I, yeah. Uh, in the moment, the cell phone is so good. All the functionality is good. But two days uh, later, after, yeah, later. two days later, later, vino y comenzó a fallar. Okay. Fire, started, or, started, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. start with the uh what do you say uh, for for the microphone ah the microphone fails yes. bias okay yeah. the microphone letter the la bocina yeah, speakers mm -hmm. yeah the speaker and hasta que la pantalla the ah, screen and the screen oh. i'm so sorry yeah. yes it duele it hurts duele bastante okay yeah. mabel and then jenny thank you jose the worst purchase, la peor compra. It's a car. A car too, okay. Uh, uh, Mazda is bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> Believe me, Mazda is not so, it's not a good brand. Yeah, because I have heard different problems with that brand, con esa marca. Okay, sí. I'm so sorry for you, Mabel. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Jenny, and then we go with Silvana. I bought a battery for the computer and it lasted as long as the warranty lasted. Okay. So no no solutions. No, se arruinó la, la batería cuando se acabó la garantía. Eso me suena gato encerrado. No lo sé, Rick. No, okay. Yeah. It sounds really weird. Suena muy raro eso. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. Pobre tu batería. Okay, Silvana, then Hugo. A pair of shoes. I, I, I have a high heel and I fell down. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was walking. Y perdiste glamour, Silvana. <laughs> Perdió el glamour. Solo una Silvana. vez me lo puse. Vaya, iba caminando como una diva con todos los poderes y la pobre era demasiado poder, llevaba demasiado poder. <laughs> o sea, okay, I'm so sorry to hear that, and that's dangerous because of, of your uncle. Puede, es peligroso por el tobillo y todo eso. Ya ves, me imagino que está con antes. Thank you, Silvana. Hugo, and then Elena. Okay, my friend. Hello. Hello. Okay, tell me. Yes, tell me. I buy a mini a video camera. A, a bow, a bow, a mini video camera. Mm -hmm. 
Eh, made in China. Ah, chinito. Ok, yes. Yes. yes made in China. Eh, <laughs> eh, letter five days. Eh, empezó a fallar. It started um, failing. Fail. Ok, falló. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, it's because it's of the brand. Yeah, it's because of the brand, similar to, to, to Mabel, that she mentioned the brand, mentioned La Marca, and where, when, especially if it is from China, mm, like something is weird, but I can kind of go right away. Okay. Lo peor que fue en un tiempo donde usted decía, hey, una mini videocámara, o sea, no era lo convencional. Mm -hmm. oh, bueno. En el momento, excellent yes. article. But yes. then, goodbye money. Después, adiós, Cristi. <laughs> yes. Okay. 125. 125 bucks. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> so, no lo voy a regalar. Thank you. Okay, and we're about to Ah, it changed into standard. So that was maybe the problem. Ajá, o sea, era, era, como, era automático y lo convirtieron a standard. No, Malísimo. not well. Nada bien, pero yes. Nada. <laughs> so, 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 so. Yes, yes. Okay, now you have more experience. Ya tiene más experiencia. Okay, Sam, your turn y terminamos. Eh, de ahí nos quedamos después con Naum y Vanessa. Para, bueno. Yes. Eh, 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 fue un equip of sound. Yeah. Equip, okay. equip of sound. When I when I was eh, 18 years old, mm. I buy as a equip sound que costaba al crédito one thousand. Uh, $200 because wow. era, big, era, wow. era very, very big. Uh, o sea, cuando uno está joven compra de tontería. Yeah. Entonces compré un equipo de sonido súper grande que al final me costó como $1,200. dólares Y obviamente, pues, hoy ya sé que pues con una chicharrita de $15 dólares hubiera sido feliz. Yeah, con Entonces, por eso. Bien. Well, I'm sorry. So goodbye to the $1,200, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that somewhere. Okay, uh, we're about to finish. Just quickly tell me hi or present, okay? Elena, uh, yes, right, hello. Um, hello. Hugo, yeah, thank you. Jenny. Hi. Hi. Um, Jose. Yeah, teacher. Hello, uh, Linda. Mabel. Present. Present. Thank you. Um, Naum. Hello, teacher. Said, uh, Vanessa. Thank you. And Silvana. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Hugo, I checked here. Hello. Hi, hi. Sorry, okay, teacher. I cannot... No yes. problem. Vayan a descansar. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 Okay, um, since the students of uh, today's class uh, couldn't be uh, ready to attend uh, the 10 minute session, I'm going to explain about the contents that we studied today. And first, to introduce the topic, we studied previously uh, the vocabulary related to prepositions of place. Here we study in, 
on, under, next to, behind, in front of, and between. We have some exercise in which we, uh, students, apply the new vocabulary learned related to preposition for place. So the objective was to, to focus on some objects that appear in the picture related to a bedroom. For instance, uh, they mentioned that the cat is, in, is behind the bed, the fish are on the table, the colors are next to the book, the book is under the chair. To continue with the same topic, um, they practice with, uh, with another picture that was related to the propositions of place. For example, uh, they said different sentences. For example, the dog is next to the sofa. The cat is on the sofa. The ball, the soccer ball is under the table. The fish ball is on the table. And the pillow is a uh, continue with the same topic. Um, I presented some some new vocabulary related to um, related to the proposition of place. Different ones than this, mm, well, some of them. For example, we will have behind, in front of, next to, between, near, above, below, in, on. So, um, also, to practice uh, with real to practice with uh, real situations and uh, the topic how to use the simple prepositions of place in this one we use only three uh, three of the preposition of place for example on in at on fourth avenue on the corner street in El Salvador, in San Salvador, park, in the neighborhood, at, at the meeting room, work, and park. Then we have an example of a small city, including the places that a city has. Example, fun. Mall, restaurant, sport palace, park, or company. Also, school, <clears throat> church, city hall, book work. Then in the in this exercise, we have um, use the map to answer the questions below. Number one, which street is the restaurant on? Two, which street? is the city hall on? Which street is the park on? In the 
this case, they answered correctly. Which district is the restaurant on? So they answered Roosevelt Street. Which street is the city hall on? Which street is the city hall on? And they answer Roosevelt Street. Which street is the park on? And they said between River Street and Roosevelt Street. Also, I presented another um, another map related to the to a, a, a town, so they can have a different view how to locate and identify different parts in a, different parts in a city. For example, in this day, we can find a pet shop, a fast food restaurant. Toy store, music store, flower shop, bookstore, bank, supermarket. So um, this is uh, just for us to have like a like a better idea about that they can find in different locations in different places the parts of a city so they can uh, they can locate and express where is a place for example Belmont Street Rosa Silva Avenue That was like the main part of, of this class related to the city, parts of the city. And well, well, it is, it was like a, a very interesting topic for them because they could, they could get involved because they know different parts of the city. Even one of the main, one of the main uh, activities was that they had to express or uh, describe uh, the workplace. Not only how is the enterprise, the enterprise they belong to, but also the specific direction. Some of them mentioned that they work in Soyapango. Some others uh, near to Pocitepeque. And even there were some students who mentioned street. They said on 11th Street, on Street Avenue. And that is part, that is part of the, of the learning process and how they can learn more and more and add uh, even vocabulary that they have previously learned. So it is, it was a, a, an objective reach because of, of, of the performance and the yeah, outcome that students had. So it was a very interesting See you tomorrow.